Well, good morning. We're back in Middle Earth and we're back on Miss Medro who has one more task to complete for our new friend Granu. And she needs to go hunt some deer for him. Collect some venison. Not that deer. That deer is not what she needs to hunt. Um, it looks like the deer she needs is a little further away than I thought. I thought for a second, I swore I saw. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just my imagination. Must have been. Second there, I thought I saw a giant. They are over there. Oh, we're not getting close enough to say hi to one. That thing spawned up just as I was going past it. It happened so fast that didn't even really uh, get a chance to respond. These are the deer we want. I think. Yeah. Pretty sure these are the ones we want. Yep. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, now we just need to go place this venison on his cart, which of course is nowhere near <laughs> where the venison was. I know it doesn't make a ton of sense, does it? <laughs> They're just. I don't think horses were meant to traverse this way. Oh, it's raining. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be raining? That seems to happen in just about every game. Listen to that music. I've discovered Kartrev Emlon. Emlon. Ah, there it is. Dunlending Cart. Okay, so that's done. We just need to go talk to him again. I guess we should probably get rid of this half part that's hanging out. All right, Grana, I've done as you asked. We have little to say to your kind. Thank you for helping with that task. My people will be grateful for your kindness. All right. That 
done. Now, we were actually supposed to be doing something completely different when we got sidetracked by that. Find the Cairn Stones. Present the amulet. So we need to assemble the amulet. Then we need to present the amulet to a couple of shades. And of course that is all in that direction. Fortunately not terribly far away. I guess pretty impressive. I don't think I'm going the right way, but that's okay. We'll adjust in a minute. We can adjust here at uh, Arndirian. Oh, I got something chasing me. Ah, they can chase me. I'm surprised that if you're getting chased by something and you run through some other mobs that you manage not to aggro, that the one chasing you doesn't alert the other mobs to your presence so that they can also chase you. That would be kind of neat. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, that would be really neat. Would certainly add a little complexity. Okay, so there's Mincham. And there's the barrows. So we need to find some cairn stones. <sighs> so I was going to say, is life going to be at one of these spots. One of these barrow mounds. Woo. Okay, up we go. Lag again. Many much lag. Just not good. Make me wonder what they're doing to have so much lag. what we're looking for here. There's another one. Oh, and if you hear any noise, uh, they're doing some yard work, so unfortunately that's not anything I can control. Alright, 
So now we get to talk to Lud. But now we also should go talk to a couple of shades and see if they know anything about the necklace. Well, we are right here. Maybe we will go talk to Lud first. The Hall of Sanctuary. I like that this is in this little glade here is named. Alright. What is your purpose here, Devodiad? This amulet may very well be the symbol of the ancient settlement here. The cairn stones that you visited are said to date back to that time, and now the amulet appears to be mending itself. I believe these cairn stones were left by a branch of the ancient Muth clan that fell to con conflict within itself. This may be what caused the shades to be bound here. My hope is that somehow this amulet will allow us to put those poor spirits to rest. All right, so now we know a little more about the necklace that we're about to go present to some shades. I'll skip that. Are you going to continue to chase me? You are not the smartest white ever. Excuse me. Hello. The amulet belonged to our captain, Catalan. It was a symbol of our cause, and with it we may find peace. Okay. So we need to find another shade to talk to. A mournful shade. And where is this mournful shade at? Well, while we're here, we might as well grab this scar now. It must not be that far away. I'm assuming. Oh look, there's a really good view of the barrel from here. I think she has pretty extensive barrow. saying to go back the other way. Then you have bits of the barrow that are looks like built out of a giant stone that was carved. I've done that before in Valheim. Or I should say Gus has. Built a little uh, shelter inside a stone. Okay, we'll do that later. First, I want to find this shade. There's some stuff up there we need to do. That's leading us right back to this barrow. Sorrowful shade, sorrowful shade. I do not see a mournful shade. So I don't know what you're talking about unless it's that way. I guess we can check that way too.
Condemned Warriors. Sorrowful Shade. Okay, I see no Mournful Shade here. That's once again leading me this way. There is definitely some lag going on here. Ah, I see you. There's several of you. I shall grant my strength to this amulet so that my people might find rest. That says to talk to Lud again. But before we do that, we've got a couple other things we want to get done. Notice that their, uh, their grave may be contained, but it's also rather extensive. I mean, this whole area is their graveyard. That's pretty, pretty extensive. We need to go up there where all that red smoke is coming out. I admit this was probably one of the... I thought this was one of the scarier things in Endedway. Of course, I don't anymore. I just did the first time I came through. at Karen Stone. Isn't that disgusting? In a way that kind of reminds me of that area and classic epic that epoch that I've been in. got these guys here performing some sort of evil ritual. I don't remember if I have to kill them right now or not. Uh, that's funny. I actually managed to pass him to the point where he didn't see me. Probably couldn't do that again if I tried. All right, let's get y'all out of the way. Kind of creepy. You should be marking off skeleton piles because they're a little harder to find than most of this stuff. They're in front of specific barrows. Okay, that's done. We need two more captains. I cannot remember if I will see them. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, 
we need to find some skeleton piles. Which don't seem to be over there. Hold on. Oh, no, I guess our captains are going to be over here. We might as well finish that then, because we only need one. Not leaving here until I get it. Puddle of wow liquid. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to regret having come back? Strange puddle. Okay. It just uh, has me go back to mention. Good. Oh, if I remember right, we're going to end up back here to deal with those ritualists. Nothing here. Except a chest. Inches of Westfold herb. Am I out of space? Are you kidding me? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Ah, there's a captain right there. That's what I'm looking for. Come here, buddy. Okay, that is done. Now we can go look for the skeleton piles. up to anyway level 71 i really 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 should put back on that stone but at the same time i really 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 don't want to lose the benefits from my pocket item i guess i will be perpetually annoyed by that it's like i choose one or the other All right, around here somewhere, I can find it. That was the third skeleton pile, okay. That was the second pile. All right. Uh, okay. first skeleton pile. Okay. 
One to take to Lud, four to take to Mention. We're gonna go to Mention first. Well, that was easy enough. So she could say we could just run past most of the stuff and avoid it. And what I think maybe that light up ahead is him. Maybe not. Wait a second. There's a healer here, and a provisioner, and a mustering horn, and a milestone. Okay. I don't know if this is something new they added or we something. We travel lightly, just... but we will aid you as best we may. Something I just never noticed before. But, actually, you can do me a big huge favor, dude, and you can buy my junk. Can you do that? Yeah, I think you can. And I would really appreciate it, too. Hmm. Okay, that will do for now. That was handy. Did may open up a few spaces. Enhancement rooms, level 50 uncommon. Which reminds me. <laughs> Still level 54, huh? Maybe I should do something about that at some point, right? I'll take that. I'm trying to figure out if this needs to be leveled. Maybe. Maybe I should vi visit a Forge Master at some point and see if I need to level that up. All right, hello, Mincham. I have done many things for you. The Ogreig remain neutral, but for how long? The symbols and the liquid that you discovered are strong evidence of the evil that has befallen the Lich Bluffs. I fear an ancient enemy has emerged, and the unrest in the tombs may be its work. You think? Our journey is a long one. I hope not too long. The description of these captains match the descriptions of several creatures we have faced before. I fear these whites may have a powerful master. I must thank you for seeking them out and putting them to rest. Well, you're welcome. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. The place where you found this horrific liquid bodes ill for all. I fear that this might be one of the instruments that some darker force is employing to raise the whites in the area. My hope is that we can locate an intact file of this liquid so we may discern its origins. Shadows lie along our path. We must seek to pass beneath them unnoticed. The liquid you recovered may yet provide us a clue to the forces behind the raising of the whites and the lich bluffs. I have heard of only a few creatures with such power, one of whom is the Witch King of Angmar, but he is accounted for. Perhaps if you can secure an intact file of the liquid from one of the whites, I may be able to determine something of its origin. I have seen many whites wandering among the barrows in the southern hills of the Lich Bluffs. Source of unrest. Our journey is a long one. I hope not too long. My fears are true, it seems. A dark force is at work, raising whites across the Lich Bluffs. It's a tragedy that the bodies of these good people are being used for such nefarious purposes. We will yet discover what evil force is at work here. Evil stirs in the shadows, and the Grey Company has need of aid. Beneath Draghaniad lies an ancient crypt that appears to be the cause of the darkness that is growing in the southern Lich Bluffs. 
One of our scouts recently reported seeing a crude entrance dug into the ground there, and from within he heard dark chanting. Could you seek out this entrance to the barrow and disrupt whatever foul ritual is taking place down below? If so, speak with me again. I hope we come to Aragorn's aid in time. Okay, so that is actually an instance. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to Lud real quick. He is not that far away. Boy, I threaded the needle there, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. There's one chasing me. I almost got it. I did not follow the end. Interesting. All right, Led. What is your purpose here, Duboldiard? It is interesting that these spirits spoke to you upon presenting them with the amulet. But it does lead credence to a belief that I have held. The shades are held here due to an ancient reg, curse, upon their people. Perhaps we might free these four spirits from their sorrowful state? You are a Devodiad from distant lands. I am not sure what help you can be. The origins of this amulet are very old, and now that it has been repaired, it does indeed appear to be what I have been searching for. The amulet itself is not an extraordinary thing, however. It may be the key to ridding this area of the shades that roam the land. The amulet belonged to Catalan, the son of a chieftain who perished ages ago. I believe that this amulet may be able to be used to awaken him, and that he may be a powerful ally in attempting to cleanse these lands. If you wish, I can lead you to Catalan's barrow, so that you might use the amulet to summon him. And this is also an instance. So, we will pick up with blood next time. And until then, bye for now.